Do you hate being poor? Do you want to be rich like me? Well, go over to Messi Modding Services where you can buy GTA 5 modded accounts, GTA 5 money, and rank for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Check their website out in the link below. And if you're having doubts, just look at all these happy customers. So do you guys remember the last video where I fought a guy called Mr. Recart and basically every time we fought I would be killing him in an unfair way in his eyes so he'd call me out for 1v1 and I'll completely destroy him and he would rage quit. So that's basically the last video in a nutshell. It's quite an interesting video if I do say so myself so you can check it out if you want but this time I decided to join him again and go kill him because I'm a sucker for some good content. Now spoiler alert this guy does leave his mic on so you can hear him raging in voice chat. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. And remember, if you like it, you can drop a like. Now because I don't like this guy that much, and I'm a very skillful player, I decide to use an Orbiter Cannon. Now you can't just leave a skillful shot like that, you've got to send them a nice message. And I think we can both tell he was pretty mad. But anyway, me being me, I like to have a good fight, so I decide to go over to the city and see what he's doing. So you actually see this guy called Monkey message me saying Mark Miss question mark and I'm like hmm maybe this guy's a fan maybe he's friendly and later on we'll see if that's true. Drop your votes in the top right now but if you're a keen eyed viewer you may notice that Mr. Recut is on my friends list. Now the story behind this is our first encounter I added him because I wanted to fight him again and then he just never took me off his friends list. <laughs> so that means I can join him whenever I want, kill him whenever I want but fortunately this video isn't fake. Anyway this guy is in an Avenger and if you want to know how to take out Avengers, basically you just get so sort of close to them. Uh, you get to a point where they can't hit you, and you just spam grenade launchers and hope they hit. So you don't get those tips anywhere else. I think that's worth a like, or maybe even a sub. I know you guys can do it. But as you can see, that strategy worked, and he is now out of his Avenger. Now unfortunately, there's a jet flying around right now. His name is Monkey. He is the guy from earlier. Now, I was thinking, hmm, maybe this guy's friendly. And was your guess correct? Because the answer is... No. So, surprise, surprise, the guy that I trusted turned out to not be friendly. Aww. And to add insults to injury, he was in the same crew as Mr. Ecot, and I didn't even spot that earlier. Like, damn, of course he's not going to be friendly. But don't worry, guys, because I was sniping and sniping and sniping at his jet, and he was pretty stupid, and he crashed, which meant that I got the kill. So, the score is now 1 1, and that was pretty easy. Now, we don't fight this guy until later on, so let's go back to Mr. Ecot. You can hear he's just spamming grenade launchers, and I can't be bothered, so I just decide to go passive and not fight him. Ha, <laughs> you fools, that's not the end. But anyway, I'll go to the city and get a jet. Now you see this guy that I'm dive bobbing? And you can see his name is Warner Willem. Now he is actually part of the three Toke members in this session, which, if you're a bit slow, is Mr. Ecot's crew. But as soon as I get close enough to kill him, he kills himself. What? And when he's on ground, you have a look at the mini map and his little dot, he just goes passive mode. I mean, come on, who would be scared of a noob like me? But anyway, Mr. Monkey is back and he's managed to sell all of his bananas and get an attack helicopter. But then again, here's a monkey and he crashes it. Wow. Also at the same time, Warner tells me to fight Mr. Ecar clean, as if I haven't done that many times before and still beaten him. He also says, oh, I didn't know you were this dirty. I mean, these guys are playing dirty against me. What do you expect me to do? Just sit there and let them kill me? Like, what the... Frick. But in a way, I have a little encounter with this guy. I also tell Willem that Mr. Ecot is scared. And then Mr. Ecot leaves. But wait, there's more. You know that really interesting fight that I was talking about earlier? Well, that got corrupted. <laughs> So you may be thinking, wow, that doesn't even look that bad. You might as well just show us the fight anyway, because it's just a few glitches every second. Well, this fight was about three hours, so the whole clip was about three hours long. And for some reason, I only have an hour and a half of it. And it's not even like the fight starts right at the start of the clip. The fight literally starts an hour and a half into it. Like, this is the end of the clip. This clip right here. And you don't... Oh, I'm, I'm actually so annoyed right now. Like, it was such a good fight. You could actually hear the guy talking in voice chat. Like, this is the first time I've ever heard his heard his voice. Oh, he sounds about, like, age 16 to 20 in England. So, unfortunately, I've got to find some other way of filling out this video. So, you know what we've got? I'm going to start joining his crew members. 
But first, in case you guys wondered, this is just going to be a quick summary of what happened. So basically, Mr. Ucart's at the beach. He and this guy called Monkey, they're both out passive. And it's clear that they're going to 2v1 me. He says he's going to go passive because he doesn't want KD to go down. But I know that's fake. So I just decide, you know what, I'm just going to fight him anyway. I'm probably good enough to beat him both. And you know what? I was good enough to beat them both. I literally clapped Monkey so hard. He got so mad and decided to spam his oppressor the whole lobby and wouldn't fight me in sniping. Now when it comes to Mr. Ecot, I only beat him by about 3 or 4 kills. And then by the end of it, he just decided to sit in his Avenger the whole lobby. He literally was so scared of finding me at beach on his own that by the time I actually did go back to the beach, he got 3 people involved. He got him, Monkey and Willem. And I asked Willem why he 3v1 me and he said that I deserved it. Apparently, because I'm too good at the game, I deserve to be 3 v one And because I absolutely hate what happened, these are the only usable clips I got. I managed to get an orbital cannon kill, and this guy spraying at me with his Avenger cannon. Like, I couldn't have got the worst possible clips to use in this situation. I don't think I've ever actually been this upset about a recording being corrupted, like honestly. But anyway, let's get to me absolutely eradicating his crew members. Now the first guy here, I didn't actually join him on purpose, I just joined a random session and see a guy in the tote crew killing random players. Now I'll go check to see if it's a real tote crew, and what do you know it's the exact same one as Mr. Ecots, and he has a 4kd which is actually kind of high, and his little crew thing says looking at my KD question mark so maybe he's a KD warrior let's find out so I fly over to him and he goes into his office no that means I can't kill him but don't worry because soon he comes out now most of you guys probably know that the savage is no match for the mighty Avenger and I'd kill him pretty easily not gonna lie but anyway there's more this bundle of fun teleports with facility yay so while I wait I just decide to customize my heavy sniper but then he gets out, and I decide to fly over to him. And because the Avenger is ridiculously strong, I decide to crash into his jet and kill him. That's a good thing about the Avenger, you can literally just crash into anything. I mean, you can even like kill people on the presses with it, because the, the little rotor things, they can kill people, chop them up. But anyway, now we're both on ground. And he starts spamming rockets. Woo, this is really fun. I managed to get a hit marker on him with my sniper, and then he runs into cover, obviously, and of course, Mountains being mountains, I fall down them. <laughs> Drop a like if you hate mountains like I do. But anyway, we then have a really intense auto aim battle. And I'm waiting for a while for him to spawn back in, but he leaves after just three kills or maybe four, I can't remember. But now the next guy that we're trying to kill is Big Cheddar 007. As you can see in the kill feed, this guy is not using his jet for good. He is just going around causing havoc and killing innocent people. That is not what we want. But anyway, it's up for me, the savior of GTA 5 Online, to take out this guy and teach him a lesson. Unfortunately, after a score of 10 to 1, this guy doesn't want to fight me anymore, so I just leave him alone, and uh, that's the end of it. If anything else interesting happens, I will keep updated, and I will try and not get the freaking video corrupted, but yeah. Um, one like is one uh, less corrupted video, I guess. <laughs> but good news. I managed to join Ecar again and hope to can him, so that's a quick one kill. And he's also playing with some guy called Yam stuff, so I'll show my kills on him as well. This is also Mr. Ecar being in some sort of glitch where I'm sniping him many times and he's not dying. 
So, got my glitch. I don't know. But either way, this is how he plays. He literally just... He's so scared of me now. <laughs> it's so funny. Now this guy, Monkey, he was the guy that's really desperate to kill me. And... I started 2v1ing me. No, 3v1ing me actually at the end of it. Then this guy messaged me saying he wanted help with uh, Yam stuff and Cheddar guy. Because he was getting picked on. So I decided to go over and help. And then Monkey sends me a message. He says, leave me alone. We all know you're better, so F off. What a lovely message from the guy that picked on me first. He's literally the first guy to kill me. I was, like, going to be friendly. And then he he chose the wrong battle. And now he's mad. Anyway, that's basically the end of it. Um, thanks for watching. If you want to know what happened, Mr. Ecart basically just didn't want to fight me. I don't know. He's just changed. He, before he wanted, like, before he actually asked me for a sniper battle, we all know what happened. I'm going 12 to 3 and he rage quit. But yeah, drop a like if you found it interesting. Bye.